This new project is called Well, 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 and I play a virtual guru who has many followers online uh, who listen to her talk about um, how to relax in an era when technology is stressing us out. So there's kind of an irony of um, exploring the way that technology stresses us out, but uh, also gives us new ways to relax because, of course, she's talking to them online and giving them these digital tools for relaxation. And I'm interested in that sort of history of overlap between um, cyber culture and counterculture. Um, or the way that um, Silicon Valley and uh, a meditation wellness scene have gone together for a really long time and are really exploding now with all of these meditation apps and breathing apps and things like that. Um, but really, I'm, I'm also interested in how um, there are a, a lot of ways that Technology can affect the body and the mind uh, negatively, but potentially also bring positive influence into our lives. So uh, it's not easy to say that technology is good or bad. It's just important to really be mindful of how it influences our lives. And so I'm trying to sort of explore that in Well, Well, Well. The theme of this overall exhibition has to do with following or followers. And at first glance, it seems that that might be more explicitly about surveillance. Um, and f my contribution to the show is a little bit different than some of the other work because I'm looking at influencers on social media and people who have followers um, or who surveil themselves in a certain sense. Um, and even those followers of influencers are also interested in um, surveilling themselves, sharing selfies in a similar way or mimicking that behavior that they see in the people that they follow. So I'm interested in exploring that and exploring the different connotations of the word follow when you see those buttons or those phrases that say follow me online um, you know what does it what does it really mean you know um, so it's interesting to kind of explore that and to explore really what the different shades of surveillance are right now in an era of social media. I mean, we're finding out more and more every day about the kinds of privacy issues uh, that are coming up in the use of social media. And there's this really interesting tension between people wanting to be seen to be validated, um, particularly through photographic media that they're sharing online, like photos of themselves and of their lives, but also wanting privacy. And so how do you accomplish both? Um, and why do we feel so compelled to overshare all of this information? And why do we feel that we deserve access to other people's private um, selfies and private data as well, but um, in other places we draw the line, what are those boundaries?